Welcome to the Synfix Studio Animation Software Training Series. Before we begin, let's set basic configuration settings to keep our learning process consistent. Switch to the Synfix main window, titled Synfix Studio, and choose File Setup. Special remark for Ubuntu Unity users. In your case, there is no file menu in the Synfig main window. To access the menu, you need to make sure that the main window is active. Just click on its title. Then hover the mouse on the top panel and the menu will appear there. Choose File Setup as requested. In the Setup window, Go to the Miscellaneous tab and set the preferences as follows. First, choose FFF under the Timestamp drop-down. Then choose Pixels under the Unit System drop-down. Make sure that the checkbox called Scale New Imported Images to Fit Canvas is unchecked. Now we are ready to go. Let's take a look at the main elements of the Synfig interface. If your Synfig installation is configured differently, you can restore the default layout by using the File, Panels, Reset Windows to Original Layout menu command. So here is the Synfig main window, also called Toolbox. It has buttons to save or open a file, undo or redo last action, and so on. Below those buttons we have Tools and in the very bottom there are some global tool settings such as the Fill, Outline Colors, Line Width and several other options. In the center of the screen we have a Canvas window. There are additional windows below and to the right of the Canvas window. They are called Panels. Let's take a look at the most important of them. Tool Options, Layers and Parameters. Let's see how they work. Choose the Circle tool in the Toolbox. The Circle Tool Options have now appeared under the Tool Options panel. Make sure that the Create Circle Layer checkbox is checked and all the other checkboxes are unchecked, except for the link origins. Let's keep this one enabled as well. Next, position the mouse somewhere in the canvas window. Press and hold the left mouse button. Now drag the mouse until we have a circle and release the button. Here it is. You should have a circle that looks like this. Note that a layer has just appeared under the Layers panel. So, every object in Synfix Studio is a separate layer. Possible mistakes If you choose the Circle tool and click the mouse button in the Canvas window without dragging, nothing will happen at a first glance. But in fact, this action creates a circle with a zero radius. It is not visible on the canvas because of the zero radius. But if you look on the Layers panel, then you can see the object is there. This is a common mistake that usually makes beginners wonder where did all those layers come from.
Let's choose some other color and create another circle. It appears under the Layers tab as well. In the Layers panel, we can switch the order of the layers, like this. Also, we can select multiple layers by holding the Shift or Control buttons. From here, you can also duplicate, remove, copy and paste layers. It is possible to select an object on the canvas as well as in the Layers panel. When an object is selected, you can change its parameters by dragging those color dots. These dots are called handles. Usually objects have lots of other parameters. You can change them through the Parameters panel. Here we have color, feather, alpha mount, and many others. And now I'm gonna tell you the biggest secret of Symfig. It's about how to close this application properly. To quit Symfig, close the toolbox here. The common mistake of new users is to click the rightmost close button instead. If you do so, the right panel will be closed, but the main application will keep running. As a result, the next time you run Symfig, you won't see the right panel because the window layout has been saved on program termination. Fortunately, we know how to fix this. To restore accidentally closed panels, use the File, Panels, Reset Windows to Original Layout menu command. So, if you want to close the current document, close the canvas window. If you want to quit Symfig, then close the main window.